Hi, everybody. Welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Tommy, and today I'm joined by Eric. The serious woman. <laughs> and today, Sammy Jones is joining us as a special guest host. Joe Perkins. <laughs> Joe Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of prison. <laughs> yeah, fresh out of prison. <laughs> and On the bus home. <laughs> so today we are covering the first three episodes of Santa Barbara, which aired on NBC from 1984 to 1993. So I'll roll the credits and we'll get right into it. So we start off at a party at the Capwell Mansion. And it is 1979, five years to before this aired. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we see Channing. Junior. Channing Junior. Yeah. yeah. Um what was the sister what was the sister's name? Um Kelly? Savannah? Santana? Kelly. Kelly. Oh. oh Kelly. Kelly. And Mason. And Channing, I keep blanking on their names. She's uh <laughs> Channing gets a note <laughs> to meet with somebody in the office. And he kind of whispers in one of the cater waiter's ears and we meet Sa Santana. Um, I was getting very Brooke Logan vibes when she was a cater waiter before <laughs> she married <laughs> into the Foresters. This is the only good Santana, so get ready for some horrible Santanas. Uh, yeah, I heard she gets recasted. I'm oh, excited to recast because I want to see everybody that ever was on the show. But I really like the Santana. I don't want to lose her. <laughs> Yeah, the next two oh. are horrible, and the last one is, like, unwatchable. Oh, like, no. <laughs> Cancel it. <laughs> yeah, you um, never know. I always like the weird stuff, so I might, like, love the last one. <laughs> I'm like, she's the best. What are you talking about? Well, they spoiler alert. Eileen, Eileen, Eileen Davison plays Kelly. She's the last Kelly. <laughs> I know, I know. I got, well, I the got problem with Santa Santa never they always, like, Put her on an episode, and then you don't see her for about fifty. And uh, oh no, that sucks. Oh no, we lost them. Um, sorry, we're having internet issues tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Connection issues in Canada. <laughs> yeah. So Mason goes to the not Mason Channing <laughs> goes to the office. And there's somebody sitting in the chair, and when they turn around, they shoot him. Yeah. Shoot him dead. <laughs> shoot him dead. And then we flash to 1984, and it's another party. <laughs> and this time, Mason gets the note, and we see Santana. In a fabulous pink dress. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, she had a glow up. <laughs> right. Yeah. She's no longer working the party. She's a guest. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like the same scenario. Mason um, goes into the office. A chair turns around. We think people are just getting shot up at this place every five years. But right. it's his father, C.C. Capwell. Who we just so, saw, yeah. we just watched Dynasty and we just saw him play a lawyer on Dynasty. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's um Chrissy's dad in Three's Company too, which is where I'm, I've seen him years ago. He um, just passed away, I want to say in 2021 at 93 years old. Wow. So he made it a long time. Yeah. Um, I also remember I didn't, I never seen him, so I knew no people in this. Like none of the, I didn't know Mason, I don't know, Chan, I didn't know who was shot, I don't know what's happening. So I put like, 1979, young blonde dude shot. <laughs> I had no idea. Like what my my notes are like all over the place. I'm like trying to catch names. I'm like, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> well, you're in luck because I have rewatched these like like at least five times. <laughs> the first like, twenty episodes. <laughs> so oh my I, God. I don't know. What's <laughs> <laughs> How could you watch? And that I were on our own. <laughs> That's insanity. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. Last time I tried to watch this was like right when like the world shut down. I watched twenty episodes and then I went to a different show. <laughs> um, oh 
So we find out that um, what's his name? Um, Joe Perkins. Wow, I'm really blanking on names tonight. What the hell? Um, <laughs> is getting out of jail apparently. So he was Kelly Capwell's lover, and apparently he took the fall for Channing's murder in 19. Yeah, I get. It looked like um, Kelly saw him at the body. Was, it, was that a flashback? So from the Something. flashbacks, it looked like he was wearing a suit. So maybe he was a guest at the party, or maybe he was sneaking in to see Kelly. Okay. Um. But, and then like he must have been, he must have found the body, and then somebody, maybe Kelly, walked in and found him there with the body, and just like assumed that he killed him. Right. We know he didn't do it. That at the end of the day, he didn't do it. Um. Right. So, he never is the one that is blamed. No. <laughs> Kelly is dating a teacher, uh, Peter, I believe his name is. Oh, he's a teacher? I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, teacher. Um, I think he's actually um so there's a younger set. There's Ted who likes the next door neighbor, Lakin. Um oh, was her name like, Lakin? Yeah. I put Lincoln. <laughs> like, Lincoln, that's a weird name for a girl. <laughs> So Ted is the youngest Capwell son, and um, he's played by uh, Todd McGee. McKee, he's who, really cute. He's cute. Um, he is so sexy on Bold and Beautiful in 1990. He he yeah, grows. He's, <laughs> he's he's the one that still comes on, right? Like randomly as a photographer or something. He's Margot's he's brother. Bold. Is he still on Bold? Because I see him like come back. Oh yeah, he randomly like, comes on. Movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He comes on like usually for fashion shows, like <laughs> random. Yeah, it's been a few years, but he has he uh, he comes back here and there. I'm surprised he even comes back because he comes back and does nothing. So you would think like right. getting somebody <laughs> back from the past, they do something, but he doesn't. Well, when I saw That's some of the years that he came back, I was like, I was watching then. I don't even remember seeing him. <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't even know who he was, and I still really don't because like when I saw him come back, I'm like, oh, he didn't. He took pictures and left. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> Yeah, he wanted the paycheck. <laughs> yeah. He has to keep his SAG insurance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, where was I? Oh, so Peter is a teacher, and he is... Th there was a scene where um, Ted, the youngest Capwell son, mentioned him as his teacher. Um, okay. He has a crush on Lake and the next-door neighbor, whose family is, like, also very wealthy and I think rivals with the Capwells. Yeah, um, I got that from the old lady. That I think the, it's the Lock <laughs> the Lockridge family. Lockridge, yes. Um we see a mysterious woman get the call that <laughs> not you <laughs> <laughs> that um, right there, Joe woman. is getting out of prison. <laughs> And With it's Lee press clear, on nails and everything. It's clearly <laughs> Louise Sorrell. I don't know why they had to hide her face. <laughs> um, first of all, I'm like, was Louise Louise Sorrell like big back then? I mean, she was a guest star in a lot of series. Like, if you look yeah. her up, like I did, I looked her up to see if she was like on another soap that this would be like. Right. I mean, she did like guest appearances on like one episode of shows. Yeah, like I was like, it's like I knew it was her too because obviously the voice never changes for her yeah. so you always know and i'm like okay so that's vivian <laughs> <laughs> and why are they not showing her face i was right. so confused i'm like what um and she's so angry that like you said she's like flicking off her acrylic nails <laughs> and we don't see her until episode three right <laughs> um like yeah i think so yeah i think three yeah, it was like episode three because uh yeah because it kept happening in episode two also, I was like, okay, getting a <laughs> massage. She's doing all this. Stuff. Right. <laughs> like, um, she's just living it up. Um, she doesn't necessarily want him killed. She just doesn't want him to come yeah. back into Barbara for some reason. Yeah. So I am curious about that stuff. I'm like, what is happening with this guy? They want him framed. Well, see, so, okay. So, Remember, I never seen this, so I have no idea what's going on, really. <laughs> so, so, I was confused with um, Joe. He he's not a Capwell, right? He was just like no, involved Joe, with Kelly. 
No, so he's a Perkins. So he's a Perkins. It, okay, so. And then, oh, his family, so he's the Perkins family. He was the the mother that was happy he was getting out of prison. His sister this, this Jade, is, played by Melissa Reeves, then Brennan. <laughs> this is my question, though. So, like, the dad, what CC Capwell is the dad, right? Yes, Andrew there. <laughs> so he's the dad. So, and he probably framed Joe. I'm assuming, and now the Lockridges want to keep joe away i'm like so that's their common denominator like they both don't want him around mm -hmm. why <laughs> so okay that's why i'm like so both of the families don't rival against each other yeah so i'm very curious to know if we ever find that out right which you might not know if it's after 20 episode 20. <laughs> i i don't know <laughs> um, <laughs> The grandmother's name is Minx, the Lockridge family's grandmother, and she hates Minx. East. Yeah, I didn't catch her name at all. I just said, uh, somebody went to their door and was like, Mrs. Lockridge, and I'm like, okay, so I know their name is Lockridge, but I don't know her first name. Yeah, she's Minx, and she calls the police on the party, even though it's the middle of the day, and says that the, yeah. it's so loud she couldn't take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> That's when you know they hate each other, so she, the cops go and then she's like, I hope they cuff him. I hope they frisk him. I hope they search him and like, <laughs> and like yeah, uh, for a noise complaint. Take him to jail <laughs> and lock him away forever. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so CC wants to get Kelly out of town because she doesn't, he doesn't want a chance that she's going to run into Joe again if he comes home. Meanwhile, Joe is now out of prison and making his way to the bus depot. And he gets roughed up by a couple of guys. Goons. Goons. Oh, goons. Working, for, <laughs> working for the... At this point, I don't think we knew the mysterious woman, but then they have the phone call when she says, I don't want you to kill him. I just want you to like keep him out of Santa Barbara. Because they end up shooting at the bus. <laughs> and like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They shoot right in the window, right? Yeah. <laughs> and people are like... And he, Joe's basically like... Anyone that has a problem can get off the bus now. And I'm like, no bus driver would continue after this. There'd be a police <laughs> report. Like, he, he wouldn't just keep driving. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on driving. Back, back in 1984, that's what you did. You just kept on driving. <laughs> Nobody <Right>. cares. <laughs> Watch the glass. <laughs> and I guess somehow the news outlets got wind of the fact that he was coming back to Santa Barbara uh, yeah. through bus. Because they're all waiting at the bus depot for him. Everybody, the whole town. <laughs> like, okay. So Santana makes it known to Cece that she's upset that he's out and that she hates him and that she loved Channing. And Cece lets her stay in the in his office to like collect herself, and she ends up going into a drawer and taking a gun out. Who's so Santana then, really related to? Is she related to anyone or no? Is she just a random person? She is the daughter of the maid. And oh, right, 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 right. Okay. She I is, didn't remember that maid. I think so. You know the guy Danny that's like um has a crush on Melissa Reeves' character, Jade? Yes, yeah. I think he's her brother. So Melissa Reeves is probably only on for like five minutes because doesn't she go to days around that time? She's on for a year. Okay. So, so she was on from the beginning until like this, yeah, a year. And then like two months later, she ended up on Dues. Right. Um, so yeah, and then I think um, Cruz, like Cruz and Eden Cruz, is, ends up being a brother of hers also, I think. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> Did you even get up to Cruz? Yeah, he comes pretty early on. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, cool. I love A. Martinez. Eden, I never got to Eden. <laughs> oh, okay. But I think, I feel like she comes on pretty early on. I just didn't make it. Maybe she comes in the 30s or something. <laughs> so, Eden was mentioned, though, right? Yeah. I, I remember, mm -hmm. but she's not there. She's not there. Okay. I remember them saying, like, her name, and I was like, okay, where is she? Like, I was looking out, but... I didn't know if she was recasted. I didn't know if it was like the same Eden from the get go. I have no idea. 
So well, it's kind of like Bold and Beautiful in that sense, too, because remember, what's her name wasn't there and still isn't where I'm at. Felicia. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> I was like, they, men they mentioned her from the <laughs> beginning. Yeah. And I remember Passions mentioning the other, like, cranes, like, um, I think they mentioned Fox early on before Justin right. Hartley even came on. And they mentioned sisters, but I don't remember them actually calling them by name, like fancy and pretty on passion. Okay. But they did mention that he had sisters. Ethan had sisters. Because okay. I remember thinking, oh, wow, they really mentioned everybody, but they weren't on the show for years. <laughs> yeah, they didn't write them in. But it's so funny. Anyway, back to Santa Barbara. <laughs> um, the budget was crazy. There was helicopters. There were boats. <laughs> So I'm trying to think what this reminded me of. I forget what. I think maybe Flamingo Road or something. But like, it it almost looked like sometimes they were at a set, like an outdoor set. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes it looked like it was real water. So I was like, when they jumped in the water later on, mm -hmm. and I was like, are they on a set? Like I couldn't tell what it was. I'm like, well, the first they... episode felt all real. They, it felt like they were on the beach. They were in a plane. They were on a boat. But right. then the second episode, there was a scene with Mason and Santana outside, and it was clearly yeah. green screen. Like, you could tell. Right, right. It was big. right. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, like the budget on the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking, too, because I remember that scene, and I was like, so, I, I'm like, I, I don't know what's a set and what's not. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they could have filmed things out of sequence, too, like in the water, you know, all at the same time. Like, who knows? I don't know how they film things. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, Sammy ha is having internet issues and he won't be rejoining us tonight, but hopefully he'll be able to join us sometime soon. So, sorry, Sammy. Hope <laughs> you can come on soon. <laughs> it was a nice two minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least we know that we got to, he got to tell us that this is the best Santana, so. <laughs> he's a, he's definitely the special guest star. <laughs> <laughs> they usually don't appear till the end, but he was in the very beginning. <laughs> Um. So where was I up to? Oh, so Santana has a gun, and she makes her way to the bus station, and she's just ready to like shoot him up right at the 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 bus station. But Mason stops her, and she ends up dropping the gun. Um, and Joe is reunited with his mom and sister, and a news crew and a mob of people like telling him to leave with signs like murderer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mason's very rapey. Who? Like he gives me yeah. Mason. He, yeah. he gives me Adam vibes. Adam Dynasty vibes. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Oh, I don't, yeah. Um, and I know that he's like a popular character, mm -hmm. especially once he's paired with Nancy Lee Grand. Whenever that happens. Oh, okay. Um, but from this point, I don't see how because he's like he kind of creeps me out. Oh, for sure. Um, he's obsessed with Santana. I got that. <laughs> feels like he always has been because he's been creeping on her since 1979. <laughs> that's, that's true. Um, we find out, I think, in like episode two, that Santana actually was pregnant around the time um, Channing died, and she went to Acapulco for the summer and had the baby. So nobody ever yeah. knew. Yeah, Cece had her sent away, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I remember the maid fighting on him. So she has this conversation with her uh, mom, and her mom's like, why are you so upset? She's like, you loved him like a brother. You grew up together. And she was like, no, like, it was different for me. And she's like, you loved him. And then she tells him, she tells her mom that she was pregnant. And um, that the baby was given up for adoption. Um, meanwhile, Mason is now telling Santana that there were witnesses that saw her with the gun and she could be like charged and like put in jail for like trying to shoot somebody. Yeah. Um, he's a district, he's the district attorney. Yes. They mentioned that. And he yeah, like offers that. to like be her lawyer and she's like, no, I'll get my own lawyer. That's not the district attorney. <laughs> yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
so I think I don't I don't really like Lakin, but Ted's cute. I like that how much he likes her and like he like climbed a, a rose garden to get into her room and like hid under the bed <laughs> when her mom yeah, I don't I don't I don't know Lakin well enough yet if I like her or not. She's I could live without her, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. She's kinda of boring. That's I don't yeah. not like her. She's yeah. just like not wowing me yet. <laughs> right, right. If at all. <laughs> um Oh, so Kelly and Peter, the this party that is in 1984 is actually their engagement party. And so um, they take a helicopter to Capwell Island, and then there's, like, a motorboat waiting for them to take them to the actual boat that's, like, docked in the middle of, like, the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, just to keep her away from Joe. Meanwhile, when she's in the helicopter, helicopter Joe like looks up and they like playing like people Bryce or whatever his name is. <laughs> like, oh like, yeah, fall in love again. That's like I don't know if that's their theme song or if that's just the song they used in the beginning of the show. It's oh, probably their theme song because they keep they did it. It's so funny because I feel like they started at the same spot. Like if ever you're in, and then like yeah. it goes to another scene and it comes back and then it starts over again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, they could continue the song at least, but maybe they didn't pay for it, so they could only do like thirty seconds. It was, it was such though. corny dialogue, though, because like when she's remembering, I don't remember who was remembering it. I think it was her, them being on the beach or whatever when they were together, and her like talking about his muscles. She's like, they're responding to me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel them flexing. They're responding to me. <laughs> that was funny. It that was, was just so like funny. cheesy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, did anybody like stand out to you that you like? So, not gonna lie, by episode three, I was like on my phone. I was kind of like bored. Um, so I'm not totally into it yet. Okay. So I'm hoping things change. Okay. Um, I am interested in some things. Um, obviously, I don't know her name, Louise Sorrell, in it. I know her last name. Augusta. Lockridge, but Augusta Lockridge. Augusta? Minx and Augusta. Wow. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm curious to know why these families are rival. I mean, yeah, there's things that are kind of hooking me in, but I feel like it might be almost kind of draggy in a way, but okay. I know soaps take time to build up, so you know I'm not hooked yet. Okay. But there's potential. I see potential in getting hooked. I do want to know who framed them, obviously. I'm curious. I always, I, w I would always like for a twist, like for it actually not to be framed. Like he would get out. And then, like a couple years later, he's like, "I actually did kill that fucker." Like, I like <laughs> now, wouldn't that be a twist if they do that one time? Like, they have like, oh, he's shit. innocent the whole time, trying to prove his right? innocence. He actually did it. I think <laughs> that would be a twist, but they never ever do that, which I think would be really fun. Because if it's like, especially like a really good guy, and you like totally don't expect it, and he'll be like, "Yeah, I killed that fucker," because he did whatever and have like a good reason for it, at least. To be a murderer, <laughs> but um, um, I like Minx. She's very funny. I think she gets recasted, doesn't she? I don't know. Or am I wrong? Oh yeah, you might not know. Because I remember, I, I thought somebody was Minx that I recognized from like a picture, like you know, getting soap opera digest and stuff. Okay. I thought I remember seeing somebody played Minx, and it was not the lady that's playing her now. Um, okay. so I'm not sure. Um, I, I know I know Eden and Cruz only by pictures, and because they're always in every magazine you'll ever get. <laughs> I feel like they're like the biggest <laughs> super couple I think from there. Right. I only know Kelly Capwell because Eileen Davidson plays her eventually. Um, and I knew Ro Robin Wright Penn played her originally. So I th I think we watched the same playlist or episodes. Um. In the beginning of the the pilot episode, there was like ten or twenty um, promos for the premiere of Santa Barbara. Did you see that? No. So okay. So I know you sent me the link, but for some reason I just typed it in the YouTube. I guess I didn't like subscribe to that link when you sent it or something. Uh, so I hit and and episode one just came up, so I didn't have that in my first episode. 
Oh, uh, okay. Then, so the one I watched, there was like promos at the very beginning before the episode started. It was like literally uh, like okay. five minutes. It was like a new a new draw daytime drama, Santa Barbara, and it just it kept going. There were like ten to fifteen second promos, oh, just yeah. one after the other. And That's one of them, I mean. there was a different actor playing Cece. It was the actor that played Cecil Colby on Dynasty. Oh, wow! And I'm like, cool. they recasted him before the pilot aired. Like, what happened? Yeah, they probably <laughs> did. I bet you, I bet you that that guy, um, I think his name is uh, Lloyd Bachner. He probably couldn't do it or sign. Like, and then they're just like, well, this guy can, you know? So they, it's probably what happened. He probably filmed the pilot and then they, he couldn't do the series. So they just recasted him real quick. Hmm. And then think just was reshot all his scenes. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's a lot because he wasn't in a lot. Yeah. I like this guy. I like Andrew Laird who from like I always love this guy because he's Chrissy's dad. So I always <laughs> like when he's around. He's a very familiar face to me. So. Well, I know I haven't seen him okay. actually play CC, but I know Jed Allen, who played um Don Craig on Days of Our Lives. Oh. Plays he takes over? Yeah, I think he's the next one. Nice. And probably the most huh. recognized as CC. Okay. That's um, cool. I like him too, so. Yeah. I, he went to go mail a letter on Days of Our Lives and he came to Santa Barbara. <laughs> Cece's a funny name. <laughs> huh? And then I guess, did they, did they call Channing like CJ? Because he's saying Channing Jr.? No, I think they just called him Channing. And what is the first C for? Like C, what, is it just CC? Or does it I like think Channing it's just Channing? for Channing Capwell. So they just call him CC. Oh, okay, okay. Even Capwell. though they refer to him as CC Capwell, so they're technically saying Capwell twice, but <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so the teen story, um Danny has a crush on Jade, played by Melissa mm -hmm. Reed, and he wants to like impress her um by basically like skydiving not skydiving, like parasailing um, over a cliff. Yeah, parasailing. I was like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's not parachuting. What is it? Parasailing. <laughs> the thing I'm like terrified to do. Yeah, me too. Um, off of a cliff by the beach. And Ted's like trying to like talk him up like a wingman. He's just like, yeah, he's so brave. I could never do that. He's such a great guy. And <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, she really doesn't. <laughs> we also meet, um, oh, what's his name? Warren Lockridge, the lifeguard. So he's Lincoln's oh, yeah, brother. Him. He he's Lincoln's brother. He's Augusta's son. Um, bro okay. And oh, like so a movie producer guy. sees uh, Danny parasailing, and she offers him yeah. a role as a stunt man to do that again. And Jade's like, uh, "I want to be in a movie." <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "Do yeah. it, do it." <laughs> and then she's like, "By the way, do you have a role for me?" <laughs> and she's like, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we want him. Um, I don't really like Jade either. I don't really like any of the teens except for Ted. <laughs> I don't yeah, I don't like I said, like it takes a while for people to grow on me. I don't know these people yet, so <laughs> um John I don't know who I quite yet. John Perkins, Joe's father, is not happy that he's out of prison. Um, he apparently believes that he did it. Yeah, what a dick. Um, and it ends up with him getting kicked out of the house by the wife because she wants her son home and safe. And she's like, fuck you, get out. <laughs> yeah, I know I don't like John. That's for sure. Um, Because no matter what, like, if your kid's coming out, like, if you don't, like... I don't know. It's your fucking kid. Like, I don't understand how you couldn't be excited to see him at least. Like, be like, you can still think he did it, but yeah. just be like, you know, hey, my son, did you really do that? You know, like, <laughs> I love you, but you know. Joe ends up going to the um the helicopter charter, I guess, that flew Kelly and Peter to the island to find out if he flew them back and he finds out they didn't so he's like down by the water with his binoculars trying to see kelly <laughs> as yeah, their was... song please <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it reminded me of um, the song Luke and Emma Sam's character, Holly, on General Hospital. <laughs> they, and, and I'm telling you this, if you ever do watch 1983 of General Hospital, or 1982, the theme song will irritate you in no time. It's played about five times. They must have paid for the song. And they, like, use it anytime they're on. It's crazy. Really? So if it's anything like this, I'm nervous. Because I'm like, <laughs> like, I like this song, and I feel like if it's played in every episode or every other, I might be like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> it does get played a lot. Uh, in the first 20 episodes, at least. <laughs> oh, then, then it's definitely their theme song, and they paid for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. Uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> um that's pretty much all that happened in three episodes yeah let me look at my notes real quick um, mm-hmm. yeah. the, um, mom, the mom reminds me of a sitcom mom for some reason she looks so familiar and i look she is i looked I at her, I, her her filmography and i don't know anything she's been in okay i've seen her in a lot of things she pops up in like a lot of random shit that I watch. You know, I watch a lot of stuff on TV. Unless I'm so just not recognizing is. the titles and I have seen her in those things. Like, <laughs> and it looks like she's still with us. Like she's still alive. That's good. And then I was like, was she on another soap opera? And not really. No, like, she's I, thought maybe she, I thought maybe she was on like Ryan's Hope and maybe I saw her in the commercials for that. But no. I think she she did like an episode of something like not Landing or something. I thought she was in one or two episodes. Yeah, but it was like a, it was just like officer or like judge. It was like a yeah. weird character like well, that. Well, that's the thing. You, well, that's probably why you recognize. You probably saw her face, and she just looks familiar, you know? Because that's what that's um, like. I, I I saw her face, and I just couldn't remember what from. I'm like, I know this woman. <laughs> that's why I looked her up. She's like the only one I did look up. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't. I still don't know how I feel about Santana. She's eh, eh. she's at least interesting, I guess. Yeah, like, I guess. Um, <laughs> and then yeah, I put if ever you're in my arms again. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was the last thing. Yeah, I don't uh, like episode three. Like I said, I was kind of phasing out, I, and I was tired when I watched it too. So, but I don't know. I just. It's not hooking me. I want it to like really dig in. So oh, but once that I makes get to know sad. the characters, then... <laughs> what's that? That makes me sad because I was like, I felt like it hooked me. I felt like it felt like a prime time show, like a prime time. Well, show. you didn't get a, you didn't get past episode twenty, so I don't think it did hook you because you would have been watching it. I get distracted easily. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is why you started prison soap, so you can watch. Yeah, because I can just hop around. around. <laughs> You're like, I need people to like help me get through because I do want to like continue. I'm excited to see things. I hope I get hooked more. How about this? How about when we get to episode twenty? If you don't like it, we'll just stop again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm still gonna watch it. <laughs> I love Louise Sorrell, so I know she'll hook me eventually. Like <laughs> right now, I don't really know her. Oh, she was in. Oh, she was only a mysterious woman for two episodes, and then like had one conversation. Oh yeah, we didn't mention that. That uh, wasn't she talking to Lake? Was it Lakin? Mm-hmm. Lakin, and um, Ted was under the bed, <laughs> and the dog. Yeah, was, I, like, meant, I meant. I briefly mentioned that he climbed like the room. Oh, whatever, but yeah. Um, I didn't know the the dog attacking him was funny <laughs> she was like what do you have like a dirty sock under there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I was> like, <laughs> that was funny she wanted lakin to like fix her nails that she popped off <laughs> her press on nails. yeah they were definitely press on nails too yeah they were everywhere in the 80s yeah <laughs> um, yeah, i'm excited to see more i will continue on and hopefully we'll continue on with um sammy next time <laughs> yeah, I hope you can join us. Damn weather. <laughs> he had a snowstorm, so. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, if you don't have anything else to add, I guess we can wrap it up. We're good. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of Queers and Soaps. As always, you can find us on all the socials at Queers and Soaps. And until next time, have a good night. Bye. Bye.